Alright, what is going on guys? It's your boy Wild here. Welcome back to some more Witch on the Holy Night. Last time we finally finished off the Anyone Can Sleep But Not Laugh story. Uh, I did get both trophies for that, so I did get the true ending and I got the all the bad endings. So today we, we will be starting the... What, oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Uh, can I go back to the menu? There we go, cool. <laughs> Uh, as I was saying, so today we're going to be starting the, um, what am I looking for here? Oh, extra. There we go. Uh, sorry, it's been a hot minute since I last played this. Uh, today, for the third time, we will be playing the uh, Wonderful World of Ploys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I think the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do one video for each storyline. That way I don't have like multiple. I think, and the way I have in mind is like the way it should line up in my head. Hopefully that's how it works. Is that... Uh, it doesn't matter how long this is it could be 30 minutes it could be an hour it could be three hours who knows we're gonna get it all in one video so i will recommend you guys get something to drink get some snacks hey that or put this on some background noise man does not bother me as long as you guys are here and just having a good time but again as i want this to play out by the time i finish with this uh sukihime should be dropping relatively soon we are already in the halfway mark of june before that drops and i'm super hyped man because i know that one's going to be a longer playthrough than this one because of all the alternate routes i think currently only for the Tsukihime remake uh it's only two characters at the moment it's the cl arc and the arcway arc routes i should say i meant to say i meant to say uh cl route and arcway out damn i'm sorry i just did a, a mk video so i kind of like my mouth a little dry here but uh because i i wonder if they're going to do anything with red garden relatively soon Maybe they'll say something about it when the English translation drops for Tsukihime. That would be sick. Uh, but either way, I'm still looking forward to that game. Because I know I told you guys before, I said it before, I did start that game. I got up to a certain point, a pretty big crucial point in the story. With uh, Shiki and Arcwade meeting for the first time. But I kind of stopped running there. But enough of that game. We're here on some Holy Night. So let's get it, man. Wonderful Water Ploys number one. So again, sit back, relax, because this is going to be hopefully a long one. Hopefully a long one. So here we go. All right. So let me let me get a quick sip of my my G fuel. So if you can hear the ice, I'm trying to make sure the 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 microphone doesn't pick that up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mhm. Mm That's what I'm talking about. So here we go. Let's get started. Number one, what's a familiar? What is a familiar? <laughs> the wonderful water ploys. Number one. What's a familiar? <laughs> the wonderful world of ploys. ヒロインにならんと高校デビューしたものの真の Turn the light off so it doesn't bother my eyes. Pathetic thing. Uh, what? Pathetic. Pathetic humans who, who no think of magic or incantation. I think who know nothing. Who know nothing of magic or incantations. Here, let me. High school firsties in blue sweaters trying to make it big, only to be one upped by the superior heroine. Good evening. It's time for me. Uh, it's time for my new series of lectures, where I tell you about the most esoteric of topics in the most esoteric of ways. I'm your host, the Great Three Plus One, Robin the Crook. I've invited my angel mom here tonight to act as your teacher. I mean, we're here in her room after all. She wouldn't come down to the studio, so I decided to bring the camera up to her. I'm thinking outside the cage, as they say. 
If the guests won't turn up at our own volition, why not shoot the show in her lovely chambers? Can we just get started already? I want to finish this and get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> ah, you're embarrassing me. You put me in you put me in a right to an eight. What the hell does that mean? Why? Uh, well, I took it as, I want to finish this nonsense so I can have some quality private time with you instead. Human language, sir, is a deep blue tit. Honestly, I barely have any grasp of what anyone is ever trying to say. Okay, if you don't know what a tit is, it's not a female anatomy, it's an actual bird. Why they named it that? Have no clue. Tell the guy who found the species, or who discovered the species why he named it that. Other than that, we just roll with the punches. Quite. I actually agree with you for once. <laughs> <laughs> the PNG of the books is crazy. I never knew you put so much trust in me, Gab. I'm not sure I can bear the pieces of eight. What? Won't that hef just make me quake? What the hell does this? What the hell is this bird talking about? <laughs> Number one, what is a familiar? Robin. Ah, right. So, in this lesson, I'll be discussing the most basic of basics when it comes to familiars. I promise this will be bright and breezy for you newbies of magery. That's why it's the wonderful wood of ploys, after all. So tell us, Alice, what are exactly our familiars? Explain it for someone who's never seen or even heard such a thing. Okay, so familiars are sort of like robots that a mage controls. Magecraft has always been a practice that requires mages to hold up their uh, hold up inside their workshops for extended periods of study. We need an entity we can trust to collect materials, keep watch on the outside world, and eliminate outside threats for us. They're basically like a pawn. Oh, they're different from a disciple. Oh, it's how? I don't know why the public story speaks like this. <laughs> they are different in many ways. A master passes down wisdom to a disciple in the hopes that one day the disciple will succeed them. It is in fact the disciple's duty to surpass their master, and a master will not accept a disciple they do not feel was compatible of achieving that. Conversely, familiars are only capable of the abilities that are imbued with that they are imbued with at the time of their creation. You can't pass down any skills or wisdom to an entity that never grows. I see. Guess that. Guess that's why I'll never seem seem to learn anything new, no matter how many donkey years pass. What the fuck? Uh, put another way, I've been perfect since birth. So, perfect to yaktatazne. Yes, perfectly useless. Skyma no okwa, shodo buzo base ni tsukurarewa. Korewa, Skyma wa jutsha kara no mariok kyokyu de katsudo suru type ga oi kara. Many familiars are created by using a small animal as a base. 
That's because many familiars require magical energy from their mage owner to operate. The larger the animal, the more magic, magical energy is required. Some animals are convenient, or small animals are convenient because they don't require much magical energy to create. And once they're made, they can subsist on their own. Subsist. I've not ever hunted anything in my life. I don't need protein or fiber or nothing like that. Right. Bloods are different from other living creatures. Anyway, my point is, familiars are like servants or pets to mages. Ah, the familiar black cat. It's common to use animals like cats, birds, or mice as familiars. Hey, the populator. Damn, that was like early on in the story too. That was like during that was during the uh the amusement park fight. Uh, Miss Alice. What about this dangerous looking character here? What category would they be in? This is an automaton, designed specifically for use in combat. It's really more like a sentinel than a familiar, to be honest. また、あなたのように人間互換できる知性を持った使い魔も特例に当たるわ。Automata are a special case, entirely separate from the concept of a familiar. Intelligent familiars who can get along with humans like yourself are also a special case. That said, they're a waste of energy. Just too expensive to make. It would be faster for a mage to do most of the task on her own. And she can make a familiar with cheaper materials. It's a case of the ends not really justifying the means, eh? I wonder if the entirety of this is going to be in this art style, because that'd be crazy. <laughs> so from what you're saying... Seems familiars are always less powerful than their mage. Always living in the shadow of their wings, eh? What a bunch of useless freeloaders. The irony of that. <laughs> hmm. How very short sighted of you, as usual, Robin. Sometimes I can't believe you're one of my familiars. Yes, Alice. Why must your words excite, yet your expression must be fright? Or must, uh, expression be a fright? Even if they only, even if they have only one tenth of the power of their mage, it's actually quite easy to create a familiar that is stronger than their master. Maybe next time I'll try embedding a derringer in your stomach or something. I have no clue what that is. You won't be able to laugh or cry or fly anymore. But you can at least scare the stuffing out of anyone that crosses us, that's for sure. Is that what those are called? Yeah, we just call them party poppers. <laughs> oh, Robin the Firecracker. That's so chicken and rice. Sure. <laughs> Looks like I'll be a huge hit this Christmas. I'm sure whatever she's saying in Japanese makes a lot more sense than it does translated here in English, so... <laughs> the whole chicken and rice thing is just so weird. Um, I'm talking about a cap gun, just so you're aware. Maybe that's a better idea, though. 
One pop and you're out of my hair forever. Hey, come on. Now you're just being mean. Anyway, I think you pretty much cover the basics. A familiar is like a robot that protects its mage creator. And its abilities are entirely up to the mage that it makes it. Hmm. So wait. I know you're a top class mage, Alice. But what will happen if someone like Alko made a familiar? Would it just blow itself up immediately or something? Hmm. What a ridiculous hypothesis. What hypothesis? There you go. I tried to say that, but it didn't come out correctly. <laughs> Alko doesn't even have the capabilities to begin creating a familiar yet. そもそも彼女は壊すことしかできないのよ。その唯一の特技を使い魔に任せてしまったら存在意義も跡形もなく壊れてしまうわ。I don't know why the ice has to be so loud. She can only destroy things, remember? If she gave up her lone skill to a familiar, she would lose her entire reason to even exist. ああ、さりげにひどい発言っす。Never want to mention your words, Angel Mom. Alko has no reason to use a familiar for combat. Conversely, I can't fight at all, so. Ah, makes 18 pence. Alko is strong all by herself. You surround yourself with strong allies. Chess. Right. If you were to compare it to chess, Alko would be a strong piece that could stand on its own, like a queen. I, on the other hand, Utilize many pieces, but I myself only have the strength of a pawn. Well, he's gonna regret these words in a second. <laughs> ah, yes, I see. I forgot just how weak and out of shape you are. You can barely, uh, what? You can only barely uh, dog paddle to swim. Can't do a single push-up. Can't ride a bicycle. It's been gym class sitting around doing mostly nothing. That's fine. You're right, Robin Hood. And if we get down to the brass tacks, it's always... It's because I'm always tailing you. My angel, mom. You're far too beautiful to exert yourself. Hmm? Hmm. You are incredibly vile. Do you know that? I'll have you know I can jog short distances. Sponsor, type moon. <laughs> She's choking the bird out. All right, there we go. Uh, well, well, I know what I just said, but it's only been 19 minutes, and you know I don't want to leave you guys only a 19-minute video. Huh? A great three. See, because the one thing I don't want to do is start a new one and then it'd be an hour in itself. Because I don't know if you guys remember that happened to me. And I forgot what video it was, but I finished. Uh, it was one of these ones here. I don't remember which one it was, but I was like, oh, the first one was like 20 minutes. I'll start another one. And it wasn't until like an hour later. I was like, I have to stop. <laughs> I can't keep going with this, man.
So you know what? We'll bite the bullet. And uh, oh, Smite just got updated. Cool. I haven't played that in like five years, but thanks, game. You know what? We'll, we'll do two. We'll do two. We'll do two. So here we go. The Wonderful World of Ploys Part 2. Number two, let's learn Ploy Kickshaw. All right, now we're at like a, a recess. Like Hello there. Relieved of his daily guard duties, a blue shadow descends upon the garden. When all said and done, this bird has landed with oh, aplomb. I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, I'm here to get started with another lecture in the special location requested by Miss Alice herself. As you can see, it's nothing special, just an ordinary garden. Now, where could that Alice be? I don't know if you would call this a garden. I call this a playground. I've been waiting for you, Robin. You do realize you're a part of this lecture series too, right? Huh? I can't hear you, but I don't see you anywhere. What kind of trick are you trying to pull? Where the heck are you, Alice? Here. <laughs> I'm right here. And then she's like in a little fucking elementary school girl's office. Okay, a plum, a plume, comes from the French word meaning perpendicularity from the phrase a plum, or poised upright balance. Definitions of a plum noun. Great coolness and composure under strain. Synonyms. Assuredness, cool, poise, sang Freud, whatever the hell that means. So it just means it just What? <laughs> I guess it just means, hey, you're you're a stand-up person, I guess. Oh, it says, hold on, real quick. Sorry there, didn't mean to sneeze. Bless me. It just means, um, you you, you can you, uh, composure under stress is basically what it's saying there. So you could you could keep a cool head. Under stressful situations. Okay, that's a pretty cool word. I've never heard of that word until today. That's pretty cool. I'm right here. <laughs> the wonderful water ploys. Is this how Robin sees the world? That would be hilarious if this is how he sees the world. Right, as he took a picture of that. The wonderful water ploys. Well, aren't you going to speak, Robin? Um, yeah, I'm here to bubble and squeak. I was just a little startled as all, seeing how I don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. That's my angel Alice. She is. You always scrub up real nice, like a right proper lady. Anyway, quick question. What are we doing here? Or what exactly are we doing here? And why? I just thought it'd be a good idea to change things up a bit. It goes against my aesthetics to keep using the same props and setting every time. This isn't some kind of dojo. That's why you moved the lecture here. I see, I see. 
I got Smee an earwig. Alko is a surprisingly big spender. I prefer a dress rather than a smock though. I think it makes you look like a goddess. I'm not saying a smock is bad, but it's all about image. How powerful would this butcher's hook be if it were in a painting? That kind of thing. Okay, now, now, and now I need to know what's a smock. Okay, Google did not help me there. So you uh, say you have a painting of a forest and a bird and some children. If the impact of the kids is too strong, you lose the focus of the bird. Oh no. I forgot I was in the middle of making some sweets. And I'm being ignored. So, Miss Alice, what is it that you want to do today? Or what, 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 what is it that you do all day anyway? Alko is the student council president. Sojiro got his work. Do you mind the old rat and mouse? Damn. Clobber that man. I do exactly what you see here. I spend my free time making ploys. Wow. You're just like the witch in those old fairy tales. I didn't know you made ploys in a cauldron. And what's that smell? Chocolate? Wait a tick. Are you, are poise made of sweets? Robin, you're a ploy yourself. Are you telling me you don't know what ploys are made of? Maybe you're just a regular bird after all. Hey, look, I don't know anything about the sort. I'm pretty sure I know how ploys work, though, because let's learn. Of course, our lovely Alice here will give a gloss deeper into the housemaid's knee and broader the skies above, right? What the fuck? <laughs> what more can I add to the explanation in the main story? We're done here. Class dismissed. <laughs> You're really trying to kill this segment, aren't you? Got any better ideas? Nice. But I'm going to Nah. At least you wanted to give a brief overview of something. Wouldn't want us to look worse than that than that dojo. I suppose I do want to avoid that. Alright, fine. I'll talk a little bit about how ploy kickshaws are made, but that's all I'm going to discuss today. Got it? Ploy kickshaws? Kickshaws? That's how you pronounce it. The CK is almost entirely silent. It's a kishaw. That makes sense. A kishaw is what Europeans call an insignificant children's toy. Drink it. Kick. It's a kiss. Kishaw. Okay, that makes sense. That, that makes sense, yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh -huh. 
Oh, I knew that. I also heard it be used in the bet. Bloods <laughs> <laughs> are similar that here in Japan, we use them to play pretend war and simulate combat. They're kind of children's educational tool. Ploy is another word for strategy or plan or battle plan. And in Scotland, it has, well, another meaning, but that one's not that important. Hmm. So basically, you just throw a bottle of glue at two words to make the to make Ploy Kishaw then? Did you whip that? Bit of word salad, Miss Alice. That was a punk word. Salad, Miss Alice. Damn. Majutsu Kyokai ni kookai shite kenri to liyeki o eru. Nante teizoku na koto wa shite inai kara. It's kind of unique. Uh, it's a unique kind of magecraft passed down for me from my mother. We never registered it with the mages' associations or royalties from it or anything cheap like that. Ah, so the family guarded secrets. Or guarded family secrets. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> eh, I guess even if you did, you'd still be the only one who can actually use it. Bound by that Meister blood, I suppose. I don't know, we just saw an entire, what? An entire storyline where a complete human used it. But then again, that was all Sojiro's fault, so. <laughs> who knows? Anata. Robin, have you understood a thing I've said so far? Hmm? Sorry. Forget that I was chirping about, or forgot what I was chirping about. I'm more unsure of the past than I am of the future, is all. Who exactly were you referring to when you said Meinster? Goddess mom. Your mother, of course. People call her a pure-blooded witch. Because we have like a cool silhouette of her mom. You can also see where she gets like her short hair from. That's pretty cool. Who's Lewis Carroll? <laughs> okay. Though she was always a bit of a bandwagoner, your mom. Always chasing the latest trends. A big fan of old Lewis Carroll. I'm assuming that's like a fashion artist. It's an English author and poet. Mr. Lewis Carroll. That man died in 1880. Uh, what? In 1898. How's that bandwagoning? What? <laughs> I understand. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they said that witches can actually live a pretty decent, have like a decent longevity. But I don't know if Alice is from the 1800s. That'd be crazy. A witch traditionally takes the ploy passed down to them and fine tunes it to her own needs. Since your mom fancy Carol, so. That's how it came about. That would make sense. I think a lot of the uh, boy kiss shawls are like based off of like children's rhymes and stuff like that. And considering that La Lewis Carroll was a poet, that that makes sense. That makes sense. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> when she broke the rules and had you, she decided to name you Alice, of all things. I still remember the big old grin on her face. Wait, if... So Robin's her mother's ploy? And not Alice's herself? Okay, that makes sense. Broke the rules and had to... Oh my, is that, is that like a Bayonetta thing? You know how like in Bayonetta... Well, I mean, it was a little different. But in Bayonetta, uh, her mom gave birth to her. But because she was a half-angel, she was like... Like, banished from being a witch. And they had to lock up... Or like, they knew that she was like a half-blood and everything like that. It was like a, you broke the rules type thing. Let's keep going. 
呆れた少女趣味の塊だったのねあの人 I think I've heard enough she was always a child at heart that woman ハハ何言ってるっすかシャバゾウが帰ってくると必ず目を覚ますアリスさんも負けてはいねえ<laughs> You're the one to talk. Whenever that boy comes to the gates of Rome, you always perk right up. The apple doesn't far,、uh, fall far from the tree as they say, Oh. Jikai no lecture wa Puroi Kisha Hobets Nishimasho. Let's make the topic of our next lecture Ploy、uh, Ploy Kishaw's a tutorial. So there's a lobby. Omise no Yoyako Stoite. So there's a Sundara Chocolate no Yusen. それが済んだら鏡の磨き。Robin, make a reservation at the usual place, will you? Then, when you're finished with that, double boil this chocolate. After that, polish the mirror. それが済んだら。そうね。電柱にでもぶつかって、盛大に死んでちょうだい。And then, hmm. Fly yourself into a telephone, a, a telephone, a telephone pole and die, maybe. いつも通りってことすね。アリスさん、なんか当たりきついっす。So the usual routine. Gotcha. You're so hard on me today, Miss Alice. 私本来はこういうキャラよ。本編では面倒だから黙っているだけ。This is how I always am. I'm just too lazy to deal with it all in the main story, that's all. Are they breaking the fourth wall a bit here? <laughs> I just realized that. 面倒って何がっすか Too lazy to deal with what? I'm not a no yona. Wono no shirunoni, each each calorie or scoutoka. So let us fall sense of most crazy. Too lazy to waste my precious calories belaboring a stupid blank like you for one thing. Do you think you're really worth my time? Okay, so we got we got stupid bitch, we have stupid shit, we have stupid fuck, we have stupid. Uh, there's a lot of words you can put in there. I think stupid shit sounds funny though, so we're gonna go with that. Dog, what? Well, pluck me bald. Here I was thinking people gave a tom tit about me. But if that's the case, I wouldn't mind if you gave me a lick sometimes. Where are we going here? <laughs> Okay, what is Tom Tit? Stop making up these words, man. <laughs> so, ne. So, let them see Nanaika. It's the Tamiste Mimashoka. I bet you wouldn't. If only,、uh, if only it annoy you so much, you'd leave for good. No time with it, Madukajiri. Yapari Puru, it's the Okashinan's. Oh, me. Oh. The one to knock out right at the bell. So, are poison made of sweets or not? Mmm, sweets. <laughs> Sponsor. I, I can't read. Is that Tight Moon? <laughs> Got Tight Moon again. Slipping Alice. Alright, well, if they're this short, we'll do the third one. And then the next video, we'll do the final three, and that'll be the end of this game for me, man. So here we go. The Wonderful World of Poise Part 3. Three components, songs, and pigs. We're at a restaurant. We are. We're at the,、uh, the conveyor belt type restaurant. Chef, Maguro San Shimori, Hitots. Chef, one three piece tuna special. Damn, she howls that shit. Arisa, Nasco, sorry. Nanko, meet a cotomon, I can't even know Sarasuni. What's that, Miss Alice? I've never seen a gold plate like that before. Taista Koto and Iwa. It's nothing special. Futsu noto, Chu Toroto, Otoro no set on a dakeo. Just a regular tuna, a fatty tuna belly, and an extra fatty one. Man, I wish I could like sushi. I just don't. I'll be honest, like, 
I've had it once, but it was like the uh, the imitation crab, and it wasn't that bad. But I don't I don't know. I just don't like the way seafood tastes. You know, it's not that it's fishy, but it's very oceany. You know what I mean? Like I don't know how to explain it, but I know I know some of you might understand what I'm trying to say here. But yeah. It looks like a bloody French flag. I can only ever afford the crappy ones like egg, squid, or inari. Chef, another plate of medium fat tuna. That's up on a gold plate game. You're going for another red one? What about something white or silver? Uh, sardine and amberjack are pretty tasty. Chef, Chef another full fat tuna. Alright, this has nothing to do with poi so far. That one plate of sushi costs as much as an entire John Skinner. How about settling for sam uh, for salmon? Cost is no concern. Chef, another full fat tuna. Yeah, to be fair, isn't Al's rich as shit? So. I don't know, but I just looked up John Skinner. Apparently, he's an author who knows how to fish really well, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's just tuna, tuna, tuna with you. Should have expected no less of Miss Alice. Sometimes I forget you're a posh heiress. <laughs> Damn, she yoink Alka's fucking purse like that? How else, uh, how else should I spend my money, Robin? If you have it, spend it. Well, Alka's paying today, but still. No, she's not gonna be, she's not gonna be too happy when she finds out she's a little low on cash. <laughs> ah, I see how it works. Alka's coughing up for dinner. Another fatty tuna. Does she have enough bread and honey for this? Think of her poor wallet. She spends money like it's going out of style. It's fine. I always come prepared. I brought my special, or my special, my second purse, just in case. <laughs> I'm not going to replicate that sound, but that was great. What? Nothing, nothing. You're the queen of the castle, so what you say goes. I'm just a lowly guest. That corpse got more dosh than I thought, huh? You had a lot of that bangers and mash. <laughs> All that cash. Someone pay me quick. The fuck is that? What was that? What was that thing? <laughs> what was the Rubik's Cube looking thing? It had an H on it. What was that? Huh. Where's my tuna? Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting her to see. I wasn't expecting to see her in this. <laughs> and as usual, she looks like she's out of it. She's got one shoe hanging off, one shoe's off. She's probably the the plates are stacked. She's out of it, bro. Looks like someone's hogging up all that VIP. Uh, it all in that VIP seat. Check out the green getup and glasses. I'll get all the. Or hogging all the uh, highest quality stuff. Well, 
<laughs> Not my place to say, but it looks like stress eating to me. Did I say something? Nah, leave it alone. Everybody deserves a little me time. But, okay. There it is again? What is that? Oh, there was uh, the kitty cat. There was an egg. Was that a... Was that a checkerboard? Why was that all going so fast? I can't, I can't tell. What the hell? There was like a... There was a, a rook. There was a... The, the little... The cat... Um... Ploy Kishaw from the amusement park fight. The little... The little Rubik's Cube thing. And then a checkerboard. And then an egg. <laughs> Not gonna take a plate, Miss Alice? I guess I could fit it in. This one then. Oh, there we go. We finally get to know what the hell. Are these like the human versions of the uh, of the pigs that we saw in um in the one side story? That's crazy. They're just they have they have like a humanoid appearance. All right, we got the chatty twins. Now we get to figure out what the what the hell that that fucking block was congratulations why thank you huh who's this are we that short-handed all right let us explain i'll explain we're the best kept secret we're talked about far and wide. We're our master's favorite, versatile, and ever-changing six-force. Six-force is their name? That would make sense if they come from dice. Okay. We're elite boys who can transform into mammals, birds, you name it. We're twins and we're pretty chatty. <laughs> Whoa. How can you play games when it's this dark? Hey. If you can't see, then you can't see the number on the dice. Or the die. Looks like we have to resume gambling later on. Yeah, there's a pig twin. That's pretty cool. Wait. Are they the pig twins? They can turn into humans too? They're known to turn into humans when they roll a one. Let me explain. Name, Chatty Twins. They're called the Chatty Twins. The noisy one Tweedled Dumb. The loud one Tweedled D. Okay, if they roll a one, they become human. If they roll a two, they become weights. If they roll a three, they become penguins. Uh, four is a do-over, so a re-roll, essentially. Five is pot lids that act as shields. Six is pigs, okay, which we saw in that one side story. I don't remember the name of the side story, but... Components. Castanet and a stapler. Original form, dice. What the hell is a castanet? Wait, so are they the, they're the shape of the dice, so when they roll themselves... Well, okay, that makes sense. That actually makes sense, okay. They're poise, but they transform with the roll of a die. Sadly, human society has poisoned them, so they're susceptible to weak magecraft. You ever rolled a one? No, I can't seem to be able to. I've only ever seen them transform into pigs. 
Fucking public carrier is being shaken this morning. It's not impossible. You're just too simple. There are many sides up to everything. You need to roll the die right. Exactly. You've got to cheat sometimes. This world is full of cheaters. No one rolls a six without cheating. Ah, the evening feast is here. I know Diddle Diddle. For Mother Goose, right? Yeah, that was the egg, right? The timed egg. Yes, it's quite famous. Hey, Diddle Diddle. Neko to Violin. Ushiga Tsuki o Tobikoeta. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. It's a typical mother goose rhyme. In the middle of the night, there's a cat playing a fiddle. A dog laughs at a cow jumping over the moon, and an anthropomorphic plate and spoon run away together. <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't remember. Some say it's based on a Greek and Egyptian legend, and that's and that is what and that is talking about the movement of the stars. The cow most likely represents Taurus. I'm a Libra as well. They're one time use poise, right? One use and they break? Do you make new ones you sign, Miss Alice? Of course. Diddle Diddle forms the basis of my magecraft. If I place them in the ground, they'll deepen the night. The deeper the night, the more my magecraft, rather, the more fairy tale means. Uh, uh, the more the fairy tale means. That's all there is to it. So, ploys like these only work in certain situations. You know, you don't function nearly as well in the city. You really are a forest, forest girl at heart. Alright, we got name, banquet of the night, original form, bell. Components, cats, uh, cat's eye stone, or cat's eye stone, glass, cost, two months worth of Sojiro's wages. <laughs> Damn. Effect. Creates an area where fairy tales are brought to life. If active, if already active, the effects are doubled. Uh, so like when she rose like the, the bread knights zombie things from the um, amusement park fight. Countermeasure. Cannot be defeated or defended against at night. But weak to light a civilization. Can I be used in front of a train station? I got a rook time. These are the nameless woods. By itself, it doesn't mean anything. You need a map. Sorry about that. You use it with this uh, mirror of slumber. This mirror doesn't quite become one of the three great ploys, but it functions just as well. Had she did she use these in the story? I don't remember this one. More specifically, 
三崎市全体の索敵と洋館内の警備たまに暴走して洋館内にゲートを作って通る人を鏡の中に招いてしまうのが難点ね It usually scans for enemies across Misaki City and guards the mansion. Unfortunately, sometimes it goes a little haywire and makes a gate that beckons people in the mansion inside. Oh, is this the mirror that Sojuro saw when he first entered the,、uh, the mansion? The one that, like, if you go into it, you get, like, sucked up or something like that? Because then she doesn't she also have, I don't know if you want to count that as a ploy, but the bottle that she used to, like, like suck Sojuro into the bottle and just kept him there? I wonder if that's considered a ploy. That would make, that would make sense, right? All right, name Mirror of Slumber and Second Ticket. Original form Mirror in Alice's room, Mirror in the foyer. Components Old Mirror, which is Droplet, whatever that means. Manifestation Fog. Yeah, so we have seen this one before, the, at least the mirror before. Effects Creates a bounded feel, softens and distorts physical laws. Countermeasure Break the mirror. That's pretty simple, right? <laughs> Ah, I bet that dustbin lid almost got killed a few dozen times from through the looking glass, was it? So, ne. Motomoto wa, Uchigawa ni sekai o motsu dake no embryo de. Nagai koto koare te itarashi wa. Right. Originally, it was just an embryo that held an other realm inside. It, looks, it looked like it had been broken for a long time. So, ne. 母と塔子さんが協力して作り直したという話よ。塔子と母と塔子さんが協力して作り直したという話よ。塔子と母と塔子さんが協力して作り直したという話よ。塔子と母と塔子さんが協力して作り直したという話よ。塔子と母と塔子さんが協力して作り直したという話よ。塔子と母と塔子さんが協力して作り直したという話よ。A witch is required to leave behind at least one elite ploy in her lifetime. She wanted to repair this mirror, make it her masterpiece, is what Toko always said. ミサキの地図にしてその上にコマを置くとそこがナナシの森になるの。If you make the surface of the mirror a map of Misaki and place this piece on it, the area becomes the nameless woods. アオコのデビュー戦で使っていたのはこのプロイね。このプロイの効果範囲に来るとこの先に用はないと暗示がかかって人よけになるのだけど。We used it in Alco's first battle. Anyone who comes within its range feels compelled to leave. So it's good for keeping people away. Alright, name.、Uh, name, Nameless Woods. Funny enough.、Uh, original form, a chess piece. Components, Japanese ash tree sprout. Effects, wards off people. Weakness, no effect on natural products and materials. What does that mean? <laughs> But it doesn't work on Pratt's. So, ne. What does no miss deva naikeredo? Hide you a tarina katta. Tsunikara wa honto ni kyo tskerwa. Indeed. It's not exactly a mistake. I just didn't consider that. Next time, I won't make the same oversight. Kyo tori nao ste. Tsuni no ploy wa. Anyway, the next ploy. Yahoo! Jibun de mo taberare ru t a b a I'm assuming that's、uh, Sweethearts. Oh, because Sweethearts was, like, it was it was also an egg, but I remember there being an egg in the main story. Yes, because it was the egg that Sojuro like, jumped on top of from the fucking roller coaster, if you remember? Which was crazy. And like, it like, it, like detonated or some shit like that. Woohoo! Hey, can I eat the egg? Me. Oh wow, this egg is pucker. Though it sits heavy on the butter and jelly. I know where this is going. 
Like, I'm not quite digesting it. I don't know. I feel like I hear a pecking noise coming from inside my body. Siri. <laughs> Although the animation her just scoot it back a bit. Three. Miss Alice, why are you backing away? Two. Sorry, uh, why the sorry, but you're gonna explode expression. One. <laughs> I'm sorry, the anim I love that fucking animation of Robin's. That little fucking it's so good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -mm. Help. Zero. Zero. Oh yeah, Dumpty. That's what we, that's what it was called. Dumpty. Dumpty Dumpty. I don't remember the scratch part, but this boy is called Scratch Dumpty. It's based on the old Humpty Dumpty nursery rhyme. Hey, you know what? That egg was too big. Too big for the old man. An egg that precariously on the or that sat precariously on the wall, ignoring the king passing by, who told him to come down. The angry king ordered his men to bring him down, but they couldn't. The king gave up and left the egg to his own devices. Then the egg fell and tragically cracked into a million pieces. No matter how hard they tried, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Basically, it's a fable saying you can't fix something that's been broken. I find it irritating. By the way, Humpty only became an egg in the 19th century. Yeah, that is true. If you don't know, supposedly... The, in the original story of Humpty Dumpty, they never specify that he was an egg. So, you can put that to whatever your, your mind comes to. I forgot what they said, that, what Humpty really was, but I, it's not coming to, you know, it's not coming to my mind what he originally was. But yeah, he didn't become an egg till later on. That's like the one of the weird things I actually do know about the story. <laughs> uh, name, Scratch Dumpty. Original form, handmade Easter egg. Components, oak tree, brasswork. Manifestation, 10 to 30 minutes larger. Effects, faces the target and sings a song praising its owner. When the song ends, a door opens and the target is locked inside the egg. Effect 2, if the subject takes their, eye, uh, their eyes off the egg during the song, the spell fails, scattering fragments of the curse. Countermeasure, when the song end, ends and a hand comes out of the door, avert your eyes. He appeared earlier in a panoramic picture book authored by Samuel Edward uh, Maber Maberly under the pen name Eloquus. Louis Carroll's Humpty was most likely based on this version. All the plates, all the empty plates is crazy. Looks like they're all sold out. Check, please. Where did that register come from? Next time, I'm going to eat all the fatty tuna this place has. Sponsor. <laughs> Sponsor. Fat, fatty tuna. That's what we're just going to say. Damn, the homeboy. Bro, on screen death of Robin is crazy. <laughs> Feasting Alice. There we go. 
Nice. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Managed to hit an hour. I, well, I'm actually surprised. I thought this was going to be a lot longer because I'm trying to remember it, seven days of spinning. That's what it was. The seven days of spinning. That was the one that really kicked my ass, man. But I'm kind of glad that these are like legit short. Like they're like 20 minutes long each, give or take. So there we go, man. We finished the first three. And I think next time we're going to finish the next three. And there we go, man. We're going to have completed this game in its entirety and have the platinum trophy. But where's it at? Where's seven days of spinning? Because that one kicked. That one kicked my ass, bro. Where are you at? Where's the spin? Where's the spin to win? Nope. 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 Yeah. There we go. Seven days of spending. Damn. Because you remember, like, that one was, like, 20 minutes long. Then this one was just, like, I'm about to be two hours long, man. <laughs> and it was. I, I, I was going mental when that one, when that happened. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I don't know. You can see my face. I was just, like, when is this going to end? But, I'm at, again, I'm kind of glad that these are, um, that these are relatively short. So, got to manage, manage to finish the the first three which is nice which is nice so again next time we will finish four five and six and we'll be completed with witch on the holy night man so it has been your boy white album i will see you guys next time take care